What's up guys? This year has been a crazy year for me and some of my friends and because of that I ended up getting a whole butt ton of gifts. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got this year, what I think about it, and where you can get some of this stuff because uh, some of it's pretty awesome. We're also going to talk about this right here that I got on my wrist, which is something I've been waiting for for a while and the guys hooked me up. So let's get right into it right now. Let's just go. So playing cards are like this amazing thing that people have been coming up with and creating and coming up with their own designs and it's something that's super cool and everybody gets to like have this keepsake of something that somebody's proud of. So I'm going to start out with uh, these cards right here. These cards were made for a convention in North Carolina called the Tri-Seas Convention, the Carolina Close-Up Convention, also known as Trix. And uh, my friend Chris, Chris Hogg, Hage, Hog is part of that convention and he told me about these deck this deck of cards that he was working on here they are and they're actually pretty dope there's two of them I don't remember I think the black ones are limited and the white ones are regular like I think you could only get the black ones at the convention to go with it there's a book of tricks and actually in here there's stuff by Boris Wilde Scott Robinson R Paul Wilson the other brothers and there is just some really good stuff in here. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't know if this stuff is still available. If it is, you should go get it. It's actually really cool. The quality, the, the time and effort that they put into just the quality of this book. It's got this nice soft, ah, oh, it's really nice. That's something, thank you Chris for that. Go check out his stuff, it's really awesome. The cards are really nice, they feel nice. They're made by USPCC. Special edition box has this like spot UV coating with embossing and raised, uh, design and everything like that oh yeah look at that 10th anniversary the 10th anniversary of the convention i believe so there you go so that's that thank you chris all right moving on we got some fort knox these this is a, a deck by alex pandrea it's all gold gold printing gold color gold box super nice my friend nick seriano did the trailer for it and my god what a trailer i could when he was showing us a bit of it we were bugging out because it was like where'd you get all the stock footage from it was all nick he did it all i've known pandrea a long time so usually when he puts out cards i end up inevitably getting some of them goes in the pile of the yearly i'm gonna call it the yearly christmas gifts because it's near the end of the year this came out near the end of the year and anytime people are willing to give something that they've worked on i think it's pretty honorable so thank you pandrea you should check those out if you don't have them so DMC is a guy that I met a few years ago at Magic Live and like we instantly became friends. He's a super cool guy and he just released his show Death by Magic on Netflix. So you should check that out. A lot of my friends worked on that. Garcia and, and Marcus Eddy and Rico and Lisa and all those guys worked on that TV show. And years ago he put out a deck of cards called the DMC Elites and I love them. And these are the new ones. These are printed on USPC, they're not printed on Cardamundi like the other ones, but these cards are great. If you don't know, these cards are marked and the marking system is super easy to read. Once you know what it is, you, you literally cannot not see the marks, which is pretty cool. But these things are great, I use them all the time and DMC was gracious enough to send me a whole bunch of these because he knows I love them so much. I'm really excited. He's actually gonna be coming out with some other things that use the same type of idea, so you should look out for that. But Another gift for the pile, and DMC, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I actually had a fun time at Comic-Con together. I, I brought him up to Comic-Con. So. A couple of years back, I ended up going out to California to do my Murphy's at the Table lecture. And afterwards, I decided to head down to LA. 
and hang out with some people and I didn't have a place to stay. Uh, there was a guy that I had met there uh, in, in Vegas actually a few years before that in Magic Live and his name is Franco Pescali. And Franco Pescali is a beast. He's a beast at technique, he's a beast at thinking about things, he's a great performer, he's a hell of a person, he's awesome. And I needed a place to stay, and without hesitation, he said I could stay at his place. So I did, I ended up staying at his place for like a couple of days, and it was the first time we had really hung out, but he was such a great host, he's such a great guy, we had a lot of fun. And recently, he's been putting out a few decks of cards, and uh, I couldn't talk about them before because he asked me not to, but now he's been using them, he's been playing with them, so I think it's okay now to kind of talk about these and show these off. So these are the new cards, the, the third version of his playing cards. I know he's been working on, on this stuff for a while and he had this idea for a while, he calls it Entry. This is the third entry, I keep holding it upside down, the third entry of his deck, uh, or is it like this, I don't know. Oh, 03, there you go. The third entry of his deck. So these are them, I finally get to show them off. I've had them for a while. And thank you, Franco, for that, that was awesome. These cards are all the peppers. Oh, these are called the peppers. So thank you, Franco, check out his stuff. He he does some stuff with Theory 11 too. He, he's just an awesome guy. Uh, Franco is one of my favorite people and I'm glad to see him killing it with the playing cards. He's a great cardistry guy. A lot of people know him for cardistry, but he's, He's an amazing magician. So about three years ago, Chris Ramsey gives me a call and says I should meet up with this guy that he's been kind of uh, traveling around with and telling his story to, this guy, Ian Frisch. Ian Frisch was, is a reporter. He uh, works for a couple of different magazines and, and stuff like that. He's, he's very accomplished at what he does. And he ended up going out to Blackpool with Chris, doing some stuff with him. And as time went on, we became friends, uh, me and him and some of the other guys and he became part of the 52. He released a trick with Illusionist. He literally followed magic around, mostly Chris, for about three years. And this is the product. This book, uh, Magic is Dead, was written by Ian using the experiences and memories and notes that he took over three years, hanging out with, with me and Chris and uh, Daniel Madison, Laura London, Pandrea, literally following us around and hanging out with us and seeing what really goes on behind the scenes and this book talks about some of that and some of his experiences in his life why things meant certain things to him and i actually learned about ian from this book because there are things I, I didn't quite know that he talks about in here i'm in here ramsey's in here uh, daniel madison laura london like we're all in here it's it's crazy to think that we're in a book and this book is going to be going public in february but you can pre-order it and this is kind of special to me. It's kind of special to hold this pre-release copy and, and read through it. And I don't know, it's a strange moment for me, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. But that's uh, this was a really cool gift to know. Three years of work went into this, knowing Ian and hanging out with him and seeing him walk around with his notepad and type everything out and then uh, write, write it and, and have it come together. So this is really cool. This was a really cool gift. I'm gonna be honest, I'm very proud of it, and I don't know why I'm so, I don't know what the word is, like humbled, I guess? I don't know, it's we, It's a weird feeling to know that I'm a, I was a part of this. Uh, I, don't, I didn't think something like this would ever happen to me. Not that it's changed anything, it's just, if you want, you can check it out. I think you could pre-order it on Amazon. It's Magic is Dead by Ian Frisch. So earlier in the year, uh, I started seeing these posts about a Turner watch and something like that. Like my friend Jeremy Griffith made some posts about it and talked about it. I didn't quite know what it was. To be honest, I didn't quite care because I had no idea what the hell was going on. Then uh, as time went on, some of my friends kind of let me in on what it was and, and who was behind it. And in Vegas, I ran into the guy who does it. And we were talking and, and he showed me uh, the pre-release version of it and how it works and the app and everything like that and I was like man That's actually pretty cool. Uh, you know, I know watches that can do something like it, but They're not that good-looking. This is actually this is actually the watch right here. This is the Turner watch uh, One of them this is the black one. It's really cool. It's it's easy to use. It's easy to understand. It's direct. It's Easy reset. It just works. It's great super nice packaging. Like It comes in really nice packaging 
really well thought out. It's kind of like that mysterious thing. And the, some of the features it has on it, I was actually pretty surprised that it was that thought out. For some reason, there was one way to use it that I just couldn't understand. Like, I, I don't know what was wrong with me. I couldn't get it. And I called, called up Chris and he just cleared it right up for me. Nobody knows. You should check that out. The watch is a little bit pricey, but hey, you know, you're getting something quality. You're getting something good that works, that is reliable, you know. So there is some reason behind the money. And I know some of you will be upset about that, but it is what it is. I think it's like $360 for this. Keep that in mind that when you're getting something like that, yeah, it's a little pricey, but you're getting it for a reason. You're not getting it just as a one-off. This is something that, this is an investment. This is an investment in, in effect, in, in magic, and in, in yourself. It's a really sleek, clean, professional looking watch. So if you're one of those guys that doesn't like, like the G-Shock or one of those fancier watches, this is a nice, elegant watch. It comes in two different styles and uh, it's, it's really cool. And there's some other features coming that I was specifically asked not to talk about, but I do know about them and it's cool, man. Like it's really cool. So guys, thank you so much for the Turner Watch. You should check that out too. All the links for everything are in the description below, so you can check all that stuff out. Guys, if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up, comment, tell me what your favorite thing in this whole lot was. You know, I'm not big on holidays, but every once in a while I like to gather the things up that my friends give me and I look at it and I'm, I'm just proud. I'm proud that my friends are doing these awesome things and I'm excited to be a part of some of it. So tell me what you like of all the things that I showed you in the description below. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be a tutorial because it's laundry day. I need to do some clothes, so look out for that one. A peace out. Bye.